So do you still remember the step-by-step -step formula or the procedure of how you can analyze charts in multiple time frames that I introduced earlier? Let me recall that one first. So here is the step. First, you look at the bigger time frame, right, and capture the macro trend, macro market environment. You look at the direction of the moving averages and also make sure to draw lines like support or resistance or the trend line on that bigger time frame chart first. Then you go down to the lower time frame chart and check the direction of the moving averages again and see if they are all pointing towards the same direction or not. If they are not, like if the short term MA is pointing up while the mid term and long term MAs are pointing downwards, and that's basically basically a range market. So in the lower time frame, you better wait for a confirmation of all the moving averages from the short term, mid term to long term MAs point towards the same direction. And also try to see if the current price level is on that lower time frame chart is somewhere close to the bigger time frames resistance or support or any other lines, right? Also, you look at the price action of the lower time frame chart and also see if uh, they have been resisted or supported by any of the moving averages in that lower time frame, right? All right, so take a look at this chart. On the previous video of part 5, I've covered how you can do the analysis on the circle A with this bigger time frame and smaller time frame on the previous video. So on today's video, I will explain how you can trade at the circle B here as an example. Again, on this blue zone right here is the market is clear downtrend as you can see the perfect order here of the moving average. And also on the yellow area, two MAs are pointing down, but one MA, the short term MA is pointing up and candles are right in the middle of the MAs. So in this kind of situation, the market is consolidating basically uh, for the next momentum. But on this blue part right here or the red part right here, all the MAs from short to mid to long term are all pointing down. And that means the major trend on this bigger time frame is clear downtrend. Now let's look into the analysis of the circle B now. All right, this chart is still the bigger time frame on circle B with my analysis with some lines on this chart. So this part right here is a circle B, right? So focus on this part of the market. So the first thing you can notice is when you look at this market, this momentum in bigger time frame, first thing is all the moving averages are pointing downwards, right? And what that means is because all the moving averages are pointing down, that means the profit can extend. The profit can be extended. When you place a sell at some point, the profit can extend because the trend may persist to the downside. And therefore, next thing you have to look for is the reasons for the market to go downside. Now, if you look at this purple line here, and if you look at this red circle here, this is exactly on the previous low where it broke the recent high uppers. You know, from this low, the market renewed the recent high uppers like this and continued the bullish momentum. So this is an important low that the market values the most. In fact, if you look at the market here, it's been supported here too, right? Then as time goes by, the market broke the line downwards here and now it's been on the bear trend. And what that means is when the market is now becoming bearish, that means this purple line now works as a resistance and the sentiment of the market becomes bear biased, right? The traders are looking for somewhere to place a sell in this momentum. And that means, that means when the price touches on this purple line or the moving average next time, most likely it's going to be resisted, right? Most likely it's going to be resisted because the whole sentiment is sell bias now after the breakout here. Do you understand what I'm saying? Again, after the market broke this purple line downwards, the sentiment became from bull to bear biased on the market. And therefore, there's more chance that the price will be resisted on any of these moving averages. And with that image in your head, you go down to look at the lower time frame chart next. Now look at this lower time frame chart. What can you see now? On this chart, first thing you can notice is look at the moving averages. 
how do they look now? Uh, this is like a triangle, right? Uh, like this uh, down here. Uh, the long term and mid term MAs are pointing down, but when you look at the short term MA, it's horizontal, right? Like this part is slightly going down, but overall it's moving up and down. And to me, this is horizontal, like no clear direction. And that means the market is in a range in this smaller term, while the long term end is still bearish. And in this case, you can expect the price will move up and down. However, because the upper time frame is a bear trend, in this lower time frame chart, you can expect the price is going to be resisted by the mid-term or long-term MAs. So in this particular case, you can expect that the market might be resisted on one of these moving averages. But you cannot trust in this uh, short-term MA uh, because it's been horizontal and going up and down with the candlesticks. So in this market momentum, you only trust and focus on the mid-term and long-term MAs in this lower time frame chart. Also what you can do is you can draw a trend line like this on this uh, yellow line and wait for its breakout to the downside like here. And also this purple line here is what you saw on the bigger time frame, the lower reversal line. Now it's been uh, resisted here, right? So you can see that this market is basically a range of this purple line and also this yellow trend line like a triangle. Slightly higher lows here, but because this is like a triangle formation, you can expect the price will be breaking it downwards by following the major bearish momentum. So you can capture the trading edge to place a sell in this lower time frame like uh, when the price touches on this purple line or after the breakout of the trend line. Alright, so again, first you can capture the trend direction on the bigger time frame chart by using moving averages and confirm which direction the market is moving. If they are all aligned to the same direction, that means the trend is steady towards that direction, like on the example today. Um, but when one of the MAs is moving differently, like on this uh, circle A here, where, where the short term MA is pointing up while the mid term and long term MAs are pointing downwards. When you see that kind of situation, then you need to realize that the market is on the fight between the short term longers and also the mid term and long term shorters. There's a fight between them. And expect the market to go bearish because the market is still sell biased. In today's case on circle B here, all the players are sell biased. So in this case, simply you look for a great selling edge on the market by looking at the lower time frame chart. <laughs>